What's going on, guys? Welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. 2. In the last part, um, we uh, went through the rest of World 2 and beat Triclide. In this part, we're going to see what we can do in World 3. Now, I've thought about this, but uh, let's give uh, Toad a fair share of his uh, time and light, let's just say. Not going to be as good a pick in the next level, so I, I guess I'd use him in uh, World 1. Now, when I say Doki Oki Panic, now, the waterfall moves much, much faster in Doki Oki Panic, so... Yeah, I might as well show this. Here, but like that was like legit seizure warnings like when I streamed Doki Doki Panic like, Now I'm trying to remember um, oh by the way if you take um, uh, if you take a If you take a potion out of this warp pipe you can warp to world 5, but we're not gonna take any warps Wait, that was not right. This is it. Now, there's no mushroom, but I just came here to get a bunch of coins. You can get a, you can just keep going back here and also gain a bunch of coins, but um, now we also go back to there. So I just, that was a nice little secret area. I guess I could have chosen the princess because she's, I guess she's, she's not, I think she's the same jumper as Toad, jumping at his toe though. She might not have been that much of a better pick for this level, aside from the floating, but um, You want to ride the uh, thing up to the uh, vine up there, like that. Fantastic! Like as I'm recording this, like my most viewed video is about the Japanese Mario Two. It's like I've already established I've done a lot of content on Mario Two, so um, I guess I'm kind of piggybacking by playing through this game proper. But um, yeah, like it's legit seeing it 2,000 views as I'm recording this video. So. Uh, I really appreciate all the animals watch that video, but um. Yeah, Panthers are very annoying enemies, let's just say. Okay. Yeah, again, if you can get a star in here, you can insta kill Birdo, but it's not, it's harder to do than this level. Yeah, another red Birdo. I've already established both in this playthrough and in my streams, I do not like Red Birdos. I guess that's another reason why Princess Peach might have been a worse pick for this level. She, she's not very good at fighting Birdos. All right, let's, let's try to see if we can get some one-ups. Or 96 lives, but we failed right there. I wasn't exactly paying attention though. There we go. All right, that was a two-up. I'm going, I'm going off timing right there. All right, one up, two up. Now, if you go over a hundred lives, you'll actually go into A section. So we have a hundred and three lives. We have a hundred and four lives. There are nine lives. Yeah, we're at 109 lives. And it's gonna go A, B. I think the cap is like, I think the cap's like a certain level, but I forget what it is though. But you can get much more lives in this game here in Tomorrow 3, but we're gonna use the princess. We're giving everyone a fair share in the limelight. Actually, in retrospect, she might not have been the best pick for this level. Oh shit. Give me a pants or make sure to take that out. And you want to um, not get hit. Okay, you want to you want to take that power block with the bob bomb in. As long as you're in a certain area, you've made progress. Yeah, she, she wouldn't have been a good. She's not the best pick for this level. Let's just say. I, I think it's this one. I think Peach can make that faster. One. Okay. Okay, that, that still counted. Now, um, the only problem is that Peach is the slowest at, uh, picking up, so, yeah, I've already, she's a common, she's a great beginner choice, but I'm just not the biggest fan of using the princess in this game. 
Like, her whole appeal is pretty much she can float. Now, yeah, there's gonna be some Bezos, but, um... There should be, um... There should be a one-up chance right here. Dead. There we go. There's no, uh, there's no potion. Well, there is a potion, but we have to, uh, we have to A, put it over here, and B, well, you have to know where to put the bomb, but if you've played this enough, you know you, have, you know to put it over here. That's, that's the thing I never was the biggest fan of about NES era games. Like, because of the limited hardware of the NES, a lot of NES games were pretty much, like, very short, but, like, you had to grind the fuck out of them in order to beat them. Like, Contra is pretty much a game, like, if either A, you put in the 30 lives code, or B, you're a veteran player of the game, you can beat that in, like, 20 minutes. That's two hits. Yeah, Peach is not the ideal person to fight a Red Birdo. Believe it or not, we don't have any chances at the bonus, so, um... Yeah, let's go back to, uh, let's go to Mario. Like I said, we're giving everyone a fair share of the limelight. Again, this is either going to be a six-parter or a seven-parter. It's either way, it's going to be much shorter than what I've done recently with Sonic Adventure DX. You know, that only took, like, 24 parts. Alright, the mushroom's over here. Pick up the POW block, and there we go, a blur everyone on the screen. Well, that bob on Again, bob -ons. that's another character that, those are other enemies I introduced in Mario 2. So, regardless if you like or hate Mar the American Mario 2, you gotta give us some credit. Like, a lot of the, like, it, it, like, it did introduce a lot of, like, a lot of, like, characters and elements that were, like, in future games. It's the same thing I said about Zelda 2. I'm pretty much, believe it or not, I'm, I am both a Mario 2 defender and a Zelda 2 defender. Like, I'm not, I'm not known for, I can have some pretty hot takes at certain times. Let's just. It's like, there are a lot, there can be some popular games I just do not like, I just do not love at all. Like, um. One of the biggest examples, believe it or not, is like, um, I'm trying to think of like one of the biggest examples, but like, believe it or not, like, um, one of the biggest examples is despite being a beloved Zelda game and all that, and like, commonly considered the gold standard 2D Zelda, I was never, for whatever reason, that huge on A Link to the Past. Like, I can appreciate it for like, how it laid the groundwork for a lot of future Zeldas, like even Ocarina of Time, but like, when you've played Ocarina of Time, and then when you've played Ocarina of Time, or even like Wind Waker before that, and and then you hype people, and then you hear, and then you like hear a lot of people say A Link to the Past is the best Zelda. It's like, I don't know. It's just the pro it's just the problem is like A Link to the Past was a game that was mostly before my time, as I was born in the late '90s. So yeah, that's kind of the thing I had kind of against A Link to the Past because I didn't play that till it came out on the Wii Virtual Console. I think A Link to the Past is a good game. It's just, I don't think it's like the gold standard of Zelda. Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the examples of like popular games I just never really loved that much. Well, like, there are some bright spots of A Link to the Past. Like the game's soundtrack is amazing. A lot of the, uh, and I, I get, like I said, it did lay a lot of the groundwork for even, stuff you even saw like Ocarina of Time. Like, like pretty much like, uh, I, I went the wrong way, but like, the, uh, what you saw in like the light world, dark world system, like, the thing about like the past, like, um, I feel like the game takes an, I feel the game gets mostly tedious once you get to the dark world portion. For some reason, I just never like playing the second half of that game for whatever reason. I never liked I never liked finding the spots where you have to go back to the light world. At least Ocarina of Time, like uh, that's the young looking adult. It's always the, the Temple of Time. So I 
I took a hit right there, but uh, I have three more hits, so. Believe it or not, I've made it to world 3-3 three, three, and I haven't died a single time. Okay. Yeah, when you're Mario or Toad, you gotta, do, you gotta put more oomph in the jumps in some of these portions. I'm hoping I get a star eventually. And we should be almost at the end. Yeah, we we can get a turtle shell now, uh, Koopa shell now. Um, I'm hoping we can get a heart. Okay, there's the heart. Problem is we don't get to take these enemies out. And believe it or not, we're fighting Mauser again. Now, if you're playing the Super Mario Advance port, uh, it's actually gonna be a robot Birdo, which I think I do like that more than a second Mauser. Now, this Mauser is gonna take more hits, let's just say. I think this Mauser takes like, I think it's six hits it takes. That's, that was like five or six hits. Anyway, so we're going to cut it off on this part of Super Mario Bros. 2. So next time on Super Mario Bros. 2, we're going to do uh, Summer World 4. See you guys then.